Brr, pow, bang, polo, boom. You are now listening to H Town's oh, Mirror Podcast. Bang, bang, bang. The young nigga from the tray and the low, and and the young nigga from the clock and the wife beater because I'm here for violence. Young James Boogie and AR Dub, we are 16 Shots Podcast. What's going on? What's going on, my brother? Let me see. I mean, you know, I gotta, uh, oh, you gotta switch it up now. You gotta give me Culture JB, uh, Culture JB screensaver. Player, 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 it it would only improve the ratings, bro. You might be right. I ain't gonna argue with that. I ain't gonna argue with that. What you got first on the docket? I mean, I can start. I got something to get off my chest. Get off your chest, man. Get off your chest, man. You know, you problem, so you know, I, I hit you what? Yes, yesterday was it? Yesterday or was it today? Today. It was the day I, I texted you. What I said about a uh, young Miami song? Oh, I said it's the worst song I ever heard in my life. Mm-hmm. So. I I had to sit with it. First off, the song is like a minute and twenty seconds. Mm-hmm. I see that. I see that. So, man, I, I I got caught up in the hype, bro. The only reason why I even listened to it is because you know an example of what you was talking about last pod. You know, social media hyped me up. Yeah, it hyped me up because they said the song was so horrible. They had Meg the Stallion laughing at a counterpart. Mm-hmm. So I went and listened to the stream. I ain't buy it, but I listened to it. Mm-hmm. It's not the worst rapping I've ever heard in life, bro. Beat fire, it's though. It's not the worst rapper. Beat fire, bro. And I think Megan them her. I mean, I think Megan's position like that because she said, "I I saw what she did, and that's how she said she was like." Yeah, the were, Tory Lanez flip. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think I think that Megan was like, I think everybody was like, quote unquote, honored or like like, hey, you know what I'm saying? She find a fine chick one thinks I'm sexy. That's cool. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't think Meg was like ridiculing her laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, she yeah. did rhyme roaches and pelnoches, or pelnoches. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> but I yeah, was. That's what turned. I'm like, hold before. on, huh? It's been done. Like that's not a new tactic. Like you know, that's, roaches that's, and pel. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about the you know dreams of, uh, F and the orange B chick. You know, oh, Reality, yeah. You know, you know, I ain't even talking about the concept of the song. I ain't talking about the yeah. concept of the song. I, I mean, mean I, I know you're not, but like that's what they they going crazy over. Act like it's never done before. Like, cause the beat is straight, man. No, nah, beat fire, bro. Beat makes the song straight. And, and she and she ain't just she ain't bad rapping. She just not the can't content. Rap, is like, she can't rap like, though, bro. She can't rap. She rap better than Cardi B. Whole first album. Man, chill out, chill out, chill out, bro. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Well, bro, that yellow was on the on the third one. Uh, them other two don't count. She was she was uh, practicing, bro. Uh, yeah, she was trying to become badly. a rapper. She was practicing badly. She was trying to become a rapper, and then once she got the perfect ghostwriter, she dropped Bodak Yellow. You know what I'm saying? And she stole that. He stole that, so she won. Why is this a chick doing? Say, bro. Say, bro. Bodak black stuff, man. It's not her fault that she found the perfect ghostwriter. I mean, you see what happened when Meg, you know, started dating her ghostwriter. Her, her lyrics got a little better. Got yeah, very good fire. She turned into a a rapper. Maybe. You know what I'm talking about. But I, enough of that nonsense, man. What you got? We got to get to the controversial takes. I'm here for violence today, bro. <laughs> uh, man, you know, I, I I can't be playing today, man. I ain't got no controversy in me today. Nah, I, man. nah, I got hate in my heart today, bro. Um. I'm supposed to talk about oh 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 bro bro did you understand the assignment i don't know i have so many assignments i i complete throughout the day which assignment you definitely had an assignment to see halloween kills oh bro man let me tell you about this halloween kills okay my, I, my, seen- my nigga hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. 
the applause yeah. ain't for the movie, it's for my take. Okay. First okay. off, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I didn't get hyped up. I was going to go see it at the movies when it first came out, but I ain't had time to. So then, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I hopped in there and watched it this weekend. And I'm like, finally, this nigga's finna die. Yeah. Bruh. Finally. Bruh. I mean, you know, the movie started out with, with some with some promise that it was going to be a good movie, a nice little ending. Jamie Lee Curtis was going to murk that nigga or something. Yeah. All right. So the first t- the, the first point of this movie I realized there was going to be some bullshit was is when the nigga grabbed a bat. He said, oh, yeah. this ends tonight. <laughs> he Evo grabbed a fucking tonight. bat. No, Evo ends tonight. tonight. That boy got everybody killed, man. Everybody. <laughs> boy got everybody, everybody killed. But, bro. That boy literally got everybody, everybody killed. Literally, killed. Everybody that got killed was 100% because of him. Bro, all right, but this is one. All right, this is what I don't understand. Every this, single person. But listen, listen to this, though, bro. At this point, if you know, if you know. All right. All right. I, I know you have more, but I want to ask you, bro. All right, go on and when, ask me. When did he start killing people and, like, doing, like, mannequin setups afterwards so yeah 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 you know what i'm saying maybe maybe i can maybe understand you know why the, <laughs> i can I, I can't understand you know why why they was trying to cancel michael myers because everybody got it because he posed but, everybody no 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 he posed everybody he posed everybody but like you it's like like okay if i was a homosexual person i would conspiracize that the only reason he posed everybody else so he could pose us because he ain't <laughs> never posed nobody else before. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's not true. That's not true. I, he's that's what he does. He's like, he's like position people. So, like, like he won't just kill you and leave you there, but he'll kill you and drag you somewhere. But it seemed like this movie, homie, started really tripping, like putting masks on people after he killed them. Man, I'm trying to say, man, come on, bro. How, what is no, man? No, man. Like, he'll, I, I he'll, he'll, he'll do some, some fuck shit, like. Yes. He'll do some fuck shit like hang you by your neck on top of the spiked fence. When we start though, I mean, yeah, I see that, but he ain't like have your hand like he put he put them in the pose you know on saying? he put them in the pose on the photo. That's what he did. He put some of his own poses, man. That was it was I, I'm not saying it was homosexual or homophobic. It wasn't homophobic, bro. It was, the, the, it was ironic <clears throat> that he did that and that they've never done it before. Like I think he killed a black people kind of racist too, though. You know what I'm saying? So, but, <laughs> so, it ain't just them. But we just so used to it. We, we don't even see it. Like, hey, man, why they have to? Why she had to get shot? Yeah, why she had to get shot, man? Why why she had to shoot herself, man? Why she had to be incompetent, man? What, so, nobody well, hold on, time out, time out. We finna, we, we're, we're finna get to all of the, the horrible deaths and Halloween yeah. kills. Yeah. I don't understand this. The, the, mythical, the mythical murderer mm-hmm. who's been tormenting your, your neighborhood for 40 years. Mm-hmm. And and I don't know why the 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 sixty year old serial killer got the stamina of eighteen year old, but whatever. Okay. Why are you niggas finna fight him one at a bat? time? No, no, not no, even no. with the bat. One at a time. The firefighters, yeah, the firefighters, bro. Yeah, but even still, even still, when they did get, when he did get them hit, when they got him down, when he like they think he did. It'd have been so many pieces of Michael Myers, like it'd have been pieces of Mike. We'd have all had like the other one. Hey, get your dogs, fool! Like we finna cut him up and feed him to the dogs, man. He oh, oh, finna- oh! You, so whoa, whoa, whoa! You mean to tell me like if this was in a nigga neighborhood? I'm talking about me. Period. If I if I live in a neighborhood, like he not that was racist. What you just did <laughs> because I said dogs. I said dogs. You said that was racist, man. That was very racist. That was funny. Say, like, fam. Yeah. First off, I'm not grabbing a bat. Secondly, I'm getting all the guns. And thirdly, when we have him cornered, yeah, why are you fighting him one by one? A. Once you get him on the ground, why do you stop stabbing him? I'm That's cutting his I, head. No, off. why is he not? I'm talking about right then when he's on the ground, man. He shotgun blast to the back of the head, man. Everything, he bro. Cut. We um, we give him everything. Oh, int. Four minutes left, fourth quarter. We giving him everything, bro. Man, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't leaving. He ain't leaving that 
space. No. Nah. In one piece. No. He's not leaving right. He ain't leaving that space in in 40 pieces. So Lil John and Big John, they pissed me off too. Nah, man. They did, everything they did was perfect, man. No, it wasn't, bro. Because hey, you know you live in this nigga house. All right. Hey, and so when you see the bloody LPGQ two Q, but I won't. When you see the bloody smear on the wall, and you know you don't have any real weapons. Do you know what you're supposed to do first? Why didn't Lil John and Big John run out the house, bro? Because Big John and Lil John got about that business, man, about the action, man. I bet, God, okay. Gonna... They about that action. So then Big John, who was the smaller of the two, I don't know why he's called Big John. He encounters Michael. Oh, oh three times, four times. Every time you said those, their name, pause. <laughs> he encounters Michael Myers first. Am I correct? Yes. He gets murdered. Am I correct? He does get murdered. So, in one room. In one room, and then Little John Pauls, yeah, goes upstairs and finds said life partner yeah. murdered by said Michael Myers. Yeah. Do you then just stand there and scream, or do you run? I mean, I guess that was, you know, to 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 exit this conversation about them peoples and enter a, a conversation that is similar. Uh, have you ever seen uh, Have you ever seen uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I probably have, but I don't remember it. Okay, that's the one where the, the stump, Brad Pitt had a fight with Bruce Lee. Brad Pitt had a fight with Bruce Lee. Brad Pitt had did I stutter? Brad Pitt had a fight with Bruce Lee. That's funny that you did that though, because people. I think that story I told you last week about the guy with the the girl who hit her head in the wheelchair and try to keep you like sometimes you say something that's crazy and keep trying to make it seem like it's normal <laughs> yeah like brad pitt fighting bruce lee yeah but in the movie brad pitt fought bruce lee he should have got his fight. ass kicked he will see that the, the daughter and people bruce lee lovers got mad because uh basically bruce lee stole him real quick and, and then brad pitt threw his through him into a car, man, then in the car door, man, like picked him up and tossed him, like boom, boom. Mm-hmm. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Brad Pitt was as cold as Bruce Lee, but it was based on a true story. And it was, and long story short, the dude was hired by the studio to rough Bruce Lee up because Bruce, uh, all the stunt doubles was like hating because he was putting hands on him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know. They like I don't know if they were, he was putting hands on them, but the studio wanted to kind of like, like check the chink. Pause. I mean, that's I mean, racist, uh, bro. That's racist. <laughs> I mean, that's the studio. That's how. Racist, that's how. Bro. You're racist. That's that's, <laughs> that's what the that's what the evil white people were thinking. They want to check the chink. That's not what I was thinking. You, you know double down on it, bro. I'm saying that's what they were thinking. So you're saying that this really happened? That a white boy really. Put hands on Bruce. Yeah, Lee. yeah, yeah. But so I don't believe. He, it. He, hold on, no, he no. But in the movie, the white boy handled up Bruce Lee. In real life, he said, you know, what I'm saying they uh that they, they hired him to do that, right? So when he got on set, like he kind of snuck up behind Bruce Lee, and Bruce Lee don't know who he is, so he ain't thinking he come. You know, he like an extra or something. So he said he grabbed him and put him up in a, in a hole, and Bruce Lee was like, "Man, put me down before I kill you, man." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and then yeah. he said, but when he finally put, but he said he didn't want to put him down because he was scared that if he put him down, he would kill him. So he put him down, and say, you know, Bruce Lee started making them noises like he doing the movie, like I'm not making this is a true story, bro. I swear, it's just like man, he thought he was going to have to, you know, get killed, but Bruce Lee was like. Man, why you do that? And he and they became friends, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, Bruce Lee realized that he don't have a defense for, for wrestlers, wrestling type moves, for judo, judo types, you know what I'm saying? So they said they start, they start training together for a little bit. But uh it's a true story too. So you telling me he could have really put hands on Bruce Lee, but he didn't know because he was uh, too scared. Uh, no, I'm saying I'm saying that he he know he he knew he was hired to kind of sneak Bruce Lee. And they wanted him to do it during like a scene, 
but he just went before the scene, you know what I'm saying? Like to try to like kind of like like where you ain't got a chance to maybe sneak me. I'm gonna come up to sneak you off. No, I'm you ain't gonna sneak me during shooting. Cause we both, you know, you in your stance and everything, and I'm my stance, you might be able to roll into some shit to mm-hmm. knock me the fuck out. But if you just at in, in the trailer and coming out and I'm like, hey, yeah, sneak you. You you know, you on a movie set, anything like that, man. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. yeah. More of the story is don't run up on Bruce Lee. Yeah, and Quentin Tarantino kind of be race baiting a whole lot, but have you seen Squid Game? No. Oh, okay. Have you seen Swagger? No. What is that? Swagger is a uh, 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 Apple TV show. I told you I don't fuck with Apple TV like that. No, you really did come about us. <laughs> 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 really <come about. laughs> uh, it's a. Uh, so you don't watch Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso. Who was that? Bro, you gotta watch Ted Lasso, bro. You so, gotta watch Ted Lasso. You know, I'm in a conspiracy. We just all over the place. I'm in a conspiracy shit. I don't know. This is irresponsible for me to say that. I can't say that. I'll, to, I'll, I'll say that later. Requiring minds want to know. You didn't got the listeners all hype. No, no, no. It's too. It's too soon. It's about someone who recently passed. It's a conspiracy about like a. a it's like a. It's like a murder cover up to conspiracy. Somebody call it Powell. Nah, 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 not the Colin Powell. No, no. It has something to do with the shooting on the set of Rust, but I, I think it's irresponsible to bring that up so soon. You hear about Fetty Wap, man? Fetty Wap got locked up at Rolling Loud conspiracy to sell dope or something, but he was like pushing a fit and all. The the. He said he got one point five million dollars in cash. They got a uh, hundred over a hundred pounds of cocaine, fentanyl, heroin, and something else. Oh, he had it on him. No, no, no. He was indicted for that shit. He was supposed to go to court like on Friday, and homie was trying to do Rolling Loud on Thursday or first. He was trying to do Rolling Loud first, and they came and picked him up at Rolling Loud. And then, yeah, but, it, but, they, but they found at his house. That's oh, the they found thing. that at his house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Fentanyl and what's called all, all that stuff. Oh, my brother, you, you, you gone, gone. We ain't gonna see Fetty Wap no more. I think I think it's a, I think it's like when um I I I be supplying the D boys. I'm I'm not the D boy. I'm just I got money, so it's, this is my form of investment. I get. A Why is that in my house? Because he's stupid. You think you finna survive that, bro? You finna come out of that and not do no time? He play play like it today. Huh? Definitely. He pled not guilty today. But how he it end up in his garage, though? Huh? How did it end up in his garage? Like, <laughs> how you do, Your Honor? I don't know how that shit got in my living room. Uh, Your Honor, I'm all, I'm on the road four to nine months a year. Uh, I'm never home. Lapuki. I'm not saying Lapuki is guilty. I'm, I'm just saying, saying Lapuki had keys to my house. I'm just saying Lapuki stays in my house when I'm not there. I'm a reputable music artist. If you haven't heard my song, it's very catchy. They play all the time. Shorty, won't you come my way? Yeah. Bro. Uh, just singing songs for disabled people. You know, I'm Casanova is in jail on like some bullshit. Cass is in jail for some bullshit. And you mean to tell me they found this shit in this nigga house? It's in a spare bedroom, but I got a question. Yeah. What do you think is the worst? What do you, what do you think is the biggest um the biggest uh stain on the black community? The biggest stain on the black community? Yeah. I feel like it's a loaded question, bro. No, not, man, I'm trying to use, use the what I'll be saying against me. I'm not trying to use what you're saying against me. <laughs> I just, you mean, you because you, that, you're essentially you, asking me what do I think. Thing? You're essentially asking me what do I think is our biggest problem or our, our biggest need that we need to work on as a black community. Am I correct? Somewhere like that, yeah. 
Or are you just asking what's the biggest thing that that, that that hinders us? The biggest roadblock for us? Yeah. Uh, I guess the lack of knowledge. Mm. I think, and, and maybe it's because, you know, the saying, if you knew better, you would do better. And it seems like sometimes that Yes, we've made strides as a community. Um, we've educated ourselves. We educate each other. Yeah. And you're always going to have ignorant elements to, to just people, period. It's not it's not connected to any race. But it just seems like we're always, as a people, slightly just two steps behind. Whether it's knowledge, whether it's doing things we should be doing as a community to 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 promote wealth. And all of that shit. It just seems like we're always the bound. What the fuck are you looking for? <laughs> no, no, keep going. I got you. Just some shit stuff going on in the background. Uh, so no, that's my answer, bro. I, don't, I I would say sometimes a lack of knowledge. I would say that's a very good answer. You can hand claps. Oh, I gotta find. I ain't, I ain't got the normal apparatus today. Uh, uh, uh I would say. I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to say drugs or the drug dealer. I know the reason why I want to say drugs because I want to say the drug dealer. But I don't know if I want to say drugs, but definitely the drug dealer. The drug dealer, man. Because, the drug dealer. Mm-hmm, because every community the, has a drug dealer. Though. What's the one, what's the drug dealer in the Bel Air community? There's a white boy that sells drugs to other white boys. Yeah, but. Do you think that, that you think the do you think the, the the white boy as your term I didn't say that word um that sells drugs to other white boys is selling those is is has the same pull in the community as the pastor? It's a different community. Because it's a different community. Okay, I'll answer your question. Uh, no, I don't want to do what you do. Ask me a question again. You, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? No, you no, I me, stopped bro. and corrected no, myself. You feel me, bro? Because sometimes no, the question no. just. Because if I was you, I would have been like, I would have been like, that's cap. Or I would have been like, no. uh, uh, what would you tell me yesterday? Uh, nah, you're wrong. Nah, ask me again, bro. You said that? I said yours, something else. Yeah, it was Whatever. some bullshit. Ask me again, though. I said, I forgot what, what was the question. You asked me, do I believe that the um that the white drug dealer in, in the white neighborhood oh, has the same? Has the same do you think the, do, okay? Do you think the, the the white drug dealer who sells drugs to other white boys has the same pull as the as as the as the pastor in the white community? No. And do you want to know why? Why not? Because the pastor in the community, in certain aspects, they're gonna kill me for this one. The pastor in the community, in certain aspects, is selling the same thing that the drug dealer is selling. So really, they're the same. <laughs> yeah, man, and they are. They selling the same thing. They, 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 in certain, in certain aspects, there's, they're, 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 they're just as poisonous as the drug dealer, bro. Now, now. This- I mean, okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm wrong with you. I'm wrong with you. you know what I'm saying, I'm wrong with you because I say like, the drugs affect the women in ways that are more prolific than the men. Um, I'm not gonna disagree. I just don't know why. Go ahead. So tell me why. I'm, what I'm saying because when when the women are affected, that has a direct uh, effect on the reproduction, reproductive situation. Would there be less children reproduced because women are are doing drugs and is having effects on children, their childbearing ability, where there has effects on the child that comes out, like you have, I guess, for lack of a better word, crackhead babies, whether you have uh, children who are born are 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 born with defects because of the drugs, whether you have. Women who abandon babies because of the drugs or can't like it's it's larger than the men 
food for the most part. It's I don't think you can say that. I don't think you can say it's larger than the men, because the same effects can happen for the men, same way. And then it could be worse because now you can have men who are going around impregnating multiple women, but aren't staying to father said kids because the drugs are keeping them out of the picture, whether it be they're hooked on them or they're selling them, and it makes them an absentee father. So I don't think you could say one is affected more than the other when you really just break it down. And the only reason why I said the preacher is selling the same thing as a drug dealer from time to time. You can come to our neighborhood, it's, it's, a, it's every block, every corner you bend, it's a church. If it's that many churches in the hood, everybody should be saved and, and, and it should be a better environment. So what are they all doing? All of them are doing it. Some of but I think some of them are, man, they just selling hope and lies, bro. And they passing their collection plate around. I ain't here to talk about the church, man. <laughs> what you're not going to make me do is, I'm not going to be the person that, 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 that you want me to be right now. You asked just, me a question. I ain't talking about the church. I'm just talking about some churches. Not all, some. All of, them like, all of them ain't like that. A lot of them do good. A lot of them do good. I think more do good than bad. I think they all do good. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Just, I've seen just, some. Just the, the level of good, like, like if, if, I, if, if we talk about sex, right? If at the end of the day, at some point, whether it's good or bad, there was a vagina in, there was a penis in the vagina, and the vagina received penis, right? You're talking about me. Now, hold on. And now, as I'm, you I'm, start I'm, speaking oh, sex. Oh, 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 let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I got you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, no matter what happens, at some point, there was a bit of like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not, not in all cases, but go ahead. And yeah, even, no, no, even, no. There, no, there can be some very horrible hookups, and you just like, the, why even do that? Like, I ain't getting it, no satisfaction from it. If you like, I'm saying, if you get to the, if you get to the point where the the penis and vagina have met, there's some satisfaction. Like, a, it might not be like if you decide because I'm saying you decided to go past just kissing or just rubbing, and like we got to the point where now my penis is out and your vagina is available. We've accepted the fact that there might be some something that come out of this, right? Because you get you went to all that, and like you walk, we walking around naked, and like you can, ooh, what happened? He tripped, fell, and tripped and fell on his dick, like Eminem said. Like you can't just accidentally fall into your vagina. There has to be some mutuality. I don't, but and, I, don't, I don't think the way that you that you get into the situation is what's at question. You're saying that no matter the situation. There's going to be some pleasure felt yeah. from it, right? I forgot where how we got here. We were talking about the church, and I said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, and, and, I said, not all churches are bad. I wasn't saying all churches are bad. Not even, a, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, I no, said, no, hold on. you you, you I'm, were pretty I'm, much trying to say that there's good in every church. No, no, I'm I'm, I'm back. I got it right. We about to say that like it's like sex. What's like, in the even, cup, bro? Hold on, hold on. What? What's in the cup? Let me finish. Even in a situation that didn't come out, that didn't finish or start going how you wanted to let's say the sex is horrible but the fact that you decided to have sex there was a point there like it was like a joy like i'm gonna have sex then you know what i'm saying it's like a release some kind of release that's how a bad church is right a bad church is like even though they might do all like even if the bridge sucks in a bunch of ways on accident they do good just because of some of the things they do like even if every intention they have is to be bad, and it's not, I don't think. But if, even if a church, any church, if all their intentions are bad, right, and nefarious, still the fact that people have a certain act or people want to feel a certain way is going to, like, to be nefarious, I still have to adhere to these guidelines to make you think I'm not nefarious, Right. You say the same thing about drug dealer, though. No, you can say the same thing about anything, bro. No, you're wrong. Nothing is ever one way. 
the drug the, the drug, drug dealer, the drug dealer can poison his community and sell dope to his community yeah. all year long, and then he can come through and and gift the whole hood with Christmas presents and turkeys, bro. He's done some good. There's been some satisfaction from that. Some niggas ate because the drug dealer gave him food. Some kids yeah, had bro. presents because the drug dealer, you know, funded it. Is that common? What do you mean? Is that common? Is that is that what? So if I took, if I'm talking about whoa, 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 Now, yeah. you yourself has have had an issue with some people doing some philanthropy in in, in these communities in Houston that you that you roll through, and and no. you have said. It ain't coming from a positive place because they still hang with X person. They still hang with murderers and killers and drug dealers. But they're doing good. People yeah. are are people are 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 getting helped, getting relief, getting funding from said individuals. So no matter the nefarious acts, they're doing some good. Is that correct? That's correct. So it's the same thing, bro. But what I'm saying Nothing is, is not, I don't think anything is all the way X. Nobody's all the way bad. They 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 will they can do some good. There's no institution that's all the way bad. There's good that's being done. And there's bad that's being done. It all depends on on what side of the coin you're looking at. Oh, so <laughs> just to be deaf advocate and ask a question and try to get an honest answer. What good is the KKK doing? Actually, the KKK is a religious and Christian group, and they probably do some good in their community, bro. They just happen to not like black people or people of color. And that's what I was saying. That, that it's just like sex, bro. Like even when it's even, like if 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 you say, man, if she say, oh man, his thing was little. Right, she still made an unspoken contract to have intercourse at some point, and so before she knew it was little, she was—I don't want to say excited, but she was she was anxious to have a penis inside of her, and vice versa. The guy, even if her twat was, you know, wretched before he found out it was wretched. There was a pot there. What I'm saying is you don't stick your penis or allow penis to come into you unless you're thinking that something positive is going to come out of this. I don't know anything about penis going into me, sir. Pause. I, I wasn't talking about that. I mean, I don't I'm, know. You said you don't allow penises to come into you without X, Y, and Z conditions. For women and a man. Oh, see, I didn't know that. You got to clear that up because I, I was like, in my mind, I don't know anything about that, sir. But if you do, I got to take your word for it. But we're never going to get signed to Jesus. We we went from having a serious conversation. Oh, my God. We went from having a serious conversation to you talking about penises. Facebook is going to flag us. Son. You know that, right? For what? Penis talk, boss. No, I was, no, I was saying that, that at some point in sex, is there's, an, there's an anticipation that it's equal or maybe greater than the act, and in, in a church that's bad or that's evil, even in a, or bad or nefarious church, even in a nefarious church, there's a point in there that there's a there's a good spot in there. And it's the same thing you said because you said nobody, nothing is all the way bad. So we're on the same page. Gotcha. What you got next, man? I'm trying to I'm trying to get us out of here, bro. Why? What you got to do? I'm not, I'm trying to get us into a into a more a more um. A different topic. What you got? Oh, um, uh, uh, pro athletes, right? First off, let's talk some NFL real quick. No, let's talk some NBA, the NFL. Have you seen the city edition jerseys? Of course I have. For who? For the NBA. I seen the Rockets one. It was like blue. And then I seen the one like like don't the one for glasses. Golden State say the city? You need, some, you need some new glasses. Last year it was it was like baby blue with red letters. I don't know what it is this year. It, it, I was I'm saying it came out today. Oh, is that it was like the little the little midnight blue type situation again? It no, it's it's a pinstripe. It's the dark blue with the pinstripes. Same thing. 
No, no, no. You got to see it. Because it's not the same. But the, Okay, so every team got a new city, city edition, right? Right. And this year was every every jersey has pieces from the team's history on the jersey. So, like, on the Rockets, they got the, the Houston from the um, Rocket Red, the, uh, fire, the fire engines. The Houston is a fire engine. The stripes are from the cartoons. I want to say the shorts have the um on the side they have the old school court is now in session. Remember that? Mm-hmm. That logo's on the side. Like on the Atlanta jersey, which I think everybody I think is throws is throw ones. They got the Hawk from back when Mookie Blaylock and you know uh Steve Smith. Mm-hmm. They gold. They got the letters from the Pistol Pete era. They got the numbers from the Dominique um, era. Like every team has different errors in their jerseys. Still looking at it right now? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. I yeah. was looking at something that said the Texans and Dolphins agreed to a trade. I don't know how true that is. And Casario got big, 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 big balls. Oh. Balls. Casario, Nick Casario. For the Texans, the gym. Say what? The gym for the Texans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, was, what yeah. was he able to pull off? No, I'm saying he just like, basically he's in, because so it came out today that the the Dolphins were ready to get Deshaun. They just said like, hey, go ahead and settle these cases. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because if you settle them, the, the, the claims are so light that you know what I'm saying? The league ain't going to be able to find you or whatever. And so Texas was like, what? So he could have been selling these cases. He just don't want to play for us. So like, we'll just wait, man. We'll, we'll wait because you're not going to shortchange us and give us two, two um, first rounders. That's not necessarily four. what happened, though. Like, we've been known if he would have paid him off, that the shit would have been over with. But he's like, I'm not paying him off because it's an admit to guilt. So I'll just ride it out and go, go to trial. And then I'm going to show but, up every but, day. Nah, but they were saying that Watson was cool with Finna with doing that. Watson was like, "Oh, and like, damn, if if you, because I think Watson was, Watson was kind of like agreeing to it. So it was like, so damn, you saying that you agree, you agree with them to go there, but then you could have been this for us, so we could have traded you. You know what I'm saying? You could have done this when it first happened, and we could have traded you and got what's worth it. But now we sitting here trying to get what's maybe probably like." No, you tripped out. So we'll wait till the summertime and then when you know what I'm saying? Who tripped out? Uh Watson, man. Do you believe you tripped out? What okay, cause I think I think it's it's threefold. Watson feel like I ain't doing anything. That's how Watson feel, I think. Mm-hmm. I feel like Watson did do something. It's just not just he just he he did something that it's in that gray area of modern thinking of how we think of things. Like he think it's just, he owns some like, like you'd be saying like, Oh, I just got these, they, I, they escorts. It's under the table. They kind of know that. And my day thinking like, yeah, there are some escorts, but you was also, if, it, if a girl, not an escort and you even put her in that position to feel, it's like you did a bad job of betting, bro. So they might try to make a pay for that. And he and so at the end of the day, when it all come out, that's all it really is, is that we're not we're not gonna prosecute you for prostitution because this is this is both of y'all what y'all wanna do. But then the girls that didn't went down with it, they better too, because like you thought they was like them, but they not. So if they get mad about it, you can't be like, uh, how you mad? Like, nah, man, that's they suck dick for money. I just rub a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and what's the third part of it? Since it's threefold. Yeah. And the third part is like <laughs> it's like if he if he if he felt like if he was thinking like I'm thinking right now, he could be like, dang, let me just, yeah, do y'all want some money? Here's the money. And I can talk my way back into the public's eye. That's that's how JB is thinking. But I feel like he's thinking like either I ain't do it or whatever I did do, 
Everybody do it. So how, why y'all just messing with me? Because my coach put me on it. And somebody put him on it. And this is something they've been doing and they, they do right now. So why y'all coming at me? It's because I don't want to play with you. It's the Texans putting on my neck. So I ain't going to, like, it's kind of egotistical. I, I, can, I can see him kind of thinking that the Texans had something to do with it. it, it yeah. It's funny that none of it came out until he said trade me. Mm-hmm. So, and then, you know, it's no, it's no, it's no coincidence that the prosecuting uh, or like the attorney with the civil suit happens to be Cal McNair's neighbor. I don't believe that bullshit. Oh, I never seen him before. I don't even go to the house that much. Ha 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 ha. I don't believe that bullshit. But I mean, it is kind of weird to think somebody that go through all of that just to jam a quarterback up. Just yeah, and and it's y'all come around every but, three years. But same said attorney did some similar bullshit with with our mayor doing the mayoral race. Did right. I say oh, it right? right? Yeah. yeah, he he like he like cooked up some bullshit. That wasn't that one all the way true, and that's what I'm saying. So you got you 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 got a shady lawyer with a track record of lying, and then you got a a, a failed son of of affluence as an owner who don't have a fucking clue, and then you got a real seedy chaplain. Who somehow runs an organization? I don't know how he. I don't know how he was able to get away with that. Like Jack Easterby, bro. He's he's shady, bro. No, he's not shady. He's no, he's, a, he's extremely shady, bro. He's when you're morally shady, driven, bro. He's he when you're what driven? When you're morally driven, man, nigga, shady, bro. It's a lot of morally driven people on the surface who are really shady people. On, no, on, let me finish though. When you when you're I don't morally driven. Okay, don't finish. Let me finish then. Say what you gotta say. <laughs> nah, to play no, boy. I have nothing to say, bro. Finish what I'm saying. <laughs> when you when you're morally when you're morally driven, sometimes fuck your morals. When, <laughs> when you're morally driven, sometimes it makes you like being morally driven polarizes you. It makes you be on a certain. You vote, you vote tomorrow. You can think you're morally driven, but you actually might be on the fuck shit. Yeah, because some some morals are fuck shit. That's why I was saying about when we talk about your your, your parents. And 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 you talking about how older people have been taught something over a period of time, mm-hmm. and it's like we understand that, but like we see that's wrong now. Like that's wrong. Like over a period of time, people's like, man, the world flat. The world flat. I'm like, man, look at this, man. The world not flat. Man, I don't care what this very viable, very understanding thing, this <clears throat> this, this this tangible things explains to me. All I've known is this my whole life, so I'm going to ignore what is tangible. That's that's hard. But you know, you, but but that just goes to say, like, I don't care what side of any stance you really stand on, you can find facts to support your stance. But, but some facts are antidotal. Some oh, facts, I didn't. They, I, I feel you on that. I'm not saying how. I'm not saying the the validity of the fact. I'm just saying you can find a fact to support whatever argument that you're standing on. I'm, I, I get it. Some of them are antidotal. You like that word a lot too. Some mm-hmm. of them can be like some bullshit facts in your in someone's eyes. But <laughs> like I, in your someone's in your in your someone's in not your not yours. Well, I'm, just, I'm just saying you know if somebody can find some bullshit facts. Okay, like, okay, there's a fact today that um, Carmelo Anthony has more threes in his first six games than any Laker ever, right? That's a fact that they just pulled up right now? Yeah. And it's true, but, like, so what the fuck? Who cares? Like, how does that have relevance? Like, you're you're trying to use a, a antidotal fact to put – together to say that oh yeah well that means he must be the greatest three point shooter the Lakers ever had right is that what they really were saying or were they just giving was, you a random fact that's what they were trying to say they were trying somebody to say that. really tried to say that Carmelo was the best three pointer the Lakers have ever had yeah that's what I'm, like that's every like and what I'm saying is like what makes it so weird is that it's so many outlets that try to just go on like there's a pe- there are pe- there are probably people that think that me and you are just trying to go on 
uh, opposite sides of everything to create a friction so that we can get views. But I'm like, no, nah, this is how I really feel about not really feel, but this, this is my thought process in that in that space. Has someone told you that? I know, but uh, that, I, but you know it is. I'm like, you know it is. Enough people who are our listeners of our pod know that. You have a weird view of life from time to time. Yo, motherfucking, what you mean? I have a weird view. Well, how come every time you move, your entire background moves? You like that? I don't like that, bro. My, look, I, my my background ain't moving right now. I'm moving. My background moving? I'm trying to shame my background? You know what? I know how to feel. So, is, is Carmelo Anthony one of the better three-pointers the Lakers have ever had? Three point shooters, the Lakers have ever had. He, he's he is uh he's he's good. He's good. So with that being said, the stat ain't as ain't as bullshit as you're saying it is. It's, it's There's bullshit. some truth to the stat, is what you're saying. No, it's it's bullshit because it's it's six games. I'm asking like, you, is there some truth to the stat? No. So there's no truth to the stat. So somebody gave us a bogus stat. No, I'm saying it's like. It's it's antidotal, bro. Like you talking about, like how, like okay. What what it, were they trying to say? Did they come out and say Carmelo Anthony is the greatest three point shooter the Lakers have ever seen? Out of the first said, six it, games, it, he's it hit the that, most three pointers no, of any Laker. It said that Carmelo, in rare um air, right or rare yeah rare air something like that. It's like a headline saying that how great he was a three point shooter, and then it's like he's hit this many threes. In this many games, it's nineteen or six, whatever, whatever number it was, but it's like, bro, six games that never ever decided anything, bro, on a grand scale. That's not even, that's not even, that's that's not even ten percent of the games. Of eighty-two games, six games ain't even ten percent. So you're saying whoever came up with the stats full of shit. No, the stat, yeah, the, the stat is not. The stat is a. The stat is relevant only in a so in such a small space. It doesn't mean nothing. Who are you? Who are you to judge relevancy when when this pops up, bro? If me, you I'm fight, asking. Bro. I'm asking you. Who are you to who are you to I'm, say I'm what reason. is? Huh? I'm reason, bro. Look, I'm reason because like, look, me, and you get in a fight and I punch you. Once in your ribs, and you say, "Ugh," but you knock my whole front grill out, close my eye socket, and knock me out. You gonna you, you telling me that that I can really just harp on on me hitting you in the rib one time? Is that the equivalent of this? Yeah, because have they that, lost all six games? Huh? Have they lost all six games? Who? The Lakers. No. Okay, so it's not the same equivalence. In your in your example, you yeah, lost the in your example you lost the fight, but you got one good lick in, and so we're championing the one good lick that you got in. In this yeah. instance, they're saying the first six game of the of, out of the first six games of the year, Carmelo Anthony has hit X amount of three pointers, which is which is in rare air for the L.A. Lakers. He's at the top of the list for amount of three pointers that he shoots. Or have made within the first six games. We don't know why they they are measuring this stat. It could be some more stuff behind said stat that he has met. That he did that that is the reasons why they're measuring the stat. So you want to tell me? You want to point the middle finger at me because I just gave you rebuttal, and you like to call me childish. What I'm saying is that this. That stat that you're pulling up, how much relevancy does, does that have? Like, if I'm saying, watch this. Like I said. So let me ask if, you. No, 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 no. Time out. You, you cut, who, you cut who, who gave you the stat? I don't know. So where did the stat come from? Where did you read this at? Somewhere, man. Where did you read this at? It was one of them. I don't know. I know. It was, you it better was, not be giving was, me no, no IG and no Facebook posts. No, no, no. It was a um. It was ESPN, I think. So I want to know. What, so usually when ESPN does these things, when they yeah. give you these said antidotal stats, yeah. it usually has a second piece to it, saying what he's on pace to do or what he's on pace to hit, 
And that's yeah. why they tracked said milestone. ESPN isn't going to just give you that stat and just leave it there on the screen just for you to look at. If they will. Nah, nah, they won't. It'll be like a two-piece stat. So it'll be like on pace for X. Last time someone did this, they were on pace for and hit X. Like, it's not just, oh, out of the first six games, X has happened. It's usually a two-piece stat where they give you something else that's um, a more tangible stat. It's less antidotal and more, you know. So, so, so where, 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 where was that? Where's your source? State your sources, sir. But there right now. Oh, you have to Google it. Yeah, because I forgot. Oh, okay. Um, what I was saying is, first off, that um, bow down in the presence of a player. But um, so great, you're not giving us any facts. You're gonna crack jokes instead. Gotcha. No, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Also, your your cracking jokes is filling the dead space for you trying to scroll through Google. To find out where you saw said I got, stat, I got everything. I got everything. I, I got, it's there, bro. I'm just so I'm so okay. So who said stat? Oh, you had to read it for real. Gotcha. No, 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 no. I had to make sure I have the best quote out of these hundred point hundred quotes that best befits the situation. But um, uh. He leads the NBA in catch and shoot threes at twenty. He's fourth in total threes and sixth in percentage. Right now, what's wrong with these stats being measured, bro? No, I, that that's one. And then the 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 um the writer also made the point that this is the hottest start for any Laker. But we're only the six like eight game. I mean. It's, um, 80, it's eighty-two game season, right? So they gave you the stats of where he is. Six games. They but man, they bro, bug, make- bug. They gave you the stat where he was compared to the rest of the NBA, and all they said was this is the hottest start by a Laker within the first six games. I mean, why you got to call that man stat bullshit, bro? I didn't, no, I didn't say that. You you saying, you you definitely said the the stat was bullshit. No, I said I didn't. But I said, I'm saying that I'm saying that the stat is skewed to make to make it because really how is it I'm, skewed? Because all I'm setting you up, I'm setting you up to drop because if you're doing something in game six of a league, just because of the quantity and the normality of a situation, you're gonna drop by twenty. So if you're like, oh, you was at 50 at game six, but now you at 32, 35. 35 really is the average, but you was at 50. How you drop? I dropped because I was as hot early, but averages is not what's early. Averages is, is the average. So everybody in the world knew I was going to be what my average is. I'm, I'm a 19-year vet. You know what I'm gonna shoot. I'm not gonna go from forty forty percent to fifty two percent in one year. That ain't never happened with nobody, especially a three point shooter. I might get a couple of percentage better, but so you, that's what I'm saying. So you setting the audience up saying this right here, knowing that at, at the end of the day it's gonna come back and get normal. Okay. Hello? I just said okay. Yeah, because I was right, bro. You're yeah, not yeah. right. If the audience already knows that the average is 30%, and they're just saying how hot he started out. We all know yeah. over an 82 game game season, the average is going to average out. So he probably averaged out around 30 some percent, 20, hot, hot, hot 20s, low 30s. So if that's the so case, that's the case, bro. All they doing is just telling you how, how good of a start he has right now, bro. What's wrong yeah, with that? What's wrong with that, bro? What's wrong with it? Then, no, then, then, then you, don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to read the stat, bro. Go to the next topic. Don't read stat. Don't listen. Don't don't listen to ESPN since you don't like their takes, nigga. Listen to Fox, Fox Sports Southwest. Uh, Go to your next, your next, your next, next take, bro. Damn, damn players never, damn players get yours. I mean, my, don't my be mad because you shoot ten ten percent from three in your league, bro. <laughs> remember, remember Otto. You ain't dunk on. 
I know. You remember Otto the ref, the six foot some ref? You can't dunk on him. He was a ref, bro. You can't dunk on him. Oh, yeah. He said, I block stonks. So you remember Otto? What about him? Man, I was just thinking, we were talking earlier today about, um, not me and you, but me Are you drunk? Are you high? No, Are you no. on something? Fentanyl? Oxycodone? Oxy? Whatever you call the shit? Nothing. I'm okay. sober. Okay, I don't believe it, but whatever. Sober. Well, I'm saying that, like, kids nowadays care more about the visual than the doing. You don't like shit, do you? What makes you happy in the morning? Waking up. And what else? Waking up to see a brand new day. Everything makes me happy, bro. I'm a happy guy. And then you just you come on. You with the sky all the time, man. And, and Nobody, then, and, and look, then, bro, I don't know. Stop, freeze. And then you come look, on here and you just stop, hate on please. everybody, bro. You just hate on everything. No, no, no. In the lifetime we've been together, nobody's ever came to you and been like, man, your friend JB, he's the mean person. He's a... Everybody who's, everybody who's came to you and said, they never told you I'm mean. They said I look mean. So that means they never got, or they never took the time out to get to know a player. Who is to, <laughs> but who has told you that I was mean? Who said, I didn't say you was mean. I said you a hater, bro. You come out here and you yeah. hate on everything. Yeah. Who said I was a hater? Me, nigga. He's the only one. No, I'm, the not, only I'm one. not the only one. Oh, no, 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 I'm not the only one. Maybe you the hater. No, I'm not the only one. What do you mean? No, I'm the only one. You got called a hater on on Facebook like yesterday, bro. By who? I seen you, Bill Cosby. Take what's up with that? Why why are you trying to stoke the fires of the internet with Bill Cosby? Not, bro, but look, 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 check this out. And I mean, you're a, you're a parent too, so vicariously. I'm what? You're a parent too. P a r e n t. You you have young pe- you you've had young people that you. Mentor, and you have young people that you you know taken care of, and you know that they that you are a a father and or a big uncle, big brother, all that, right? Bill Cosby taught us so much about parenting through the Cosby Show. Okay, That's genius level shit, man. Like I don't, like I don't know. It, there have been times, like okay, okay, I'm one time my daughter. She was younger, and she was chubbier when she was younger, right? And so, I know it's like, man, you're just young. In my head, I'm like, man, you just. Young. I'm looking at your mom. I'm looking at me. I'm knowing how you move. I'm like. It's just that's just baby fat, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But I'm still I'm trying to instill in her, you know, to a motor in her. I'm like, so when she with me, like we run always. Half a mile, mile, we run. She's like eight, nine. So I'm like, we're finna run a mile for whatever reason this day. You know what I'm saying? This is summertime. So we just stay running. She's like, oh, I wanna run. And so I'm like, I know you don't want to run, but you know, just think happy thoughts. We'll breathe, we'll talk, and run. And so she gives me a whole, she tries to have one of those dramatic breakdowns that kids have, like, oh, Daddy, you don't love me, because you always, if you love me, you don't listen to me. You know what I'm saying? I remembered that, I remember this, the, um, when Theo made bad grades, and he was like, Dad, Maybe I'm not gonna make good grades. Maybe I'm not like you. Da, da, da. And you know, it was all sad. But Bill Cosby was like, "Man, that's the biggest piece of shit I've ever heard in my life, man. Like, don't be trying to, you know, what I'm saying make me sympathize, but you not want to work hard. I ain't make good grades either, man. But I had to work hard, bro. Just work harder, you know what I'm saying? Like, I help you, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta work hard." And I understood that in that moment, I was like, man, she just don't want to work hard in this moment. So you made the nine-year-old run a mile? Yeah. You toxic, and, bro. No, and she ran a mile, and she, but, and, but like now, she's 14, and like, 
she she can kind of see she don't she ain't gonna say it she don't see it because she's 14 but you can see that all that stuff we did is manifesting right now because it's like you were thinking about how you feel right now but i'm like you five six you tall for your age but you ain't you ain't filled out you ain't you still young you know what i mean you you still got a, a kid body it's just bigger but when you get when you get start getting your your adolescence and your you start going through your through puberty like your muscles going to start to define you start you're going to start to slim up cuz you're an active person you're not a sitting around person you know what i mean so now it's like oh i'm i'm able to play these different sports i'm able to you know xyz and you think it's like you a uh, young person not thinking yeah, I saw this when you was eight. I knew that when you got 13, 14, that these different things would interest you. But if you didn't understand that you have to have this physical physical ability to be in that, then blah, 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 blah. But yeah. I think I'm talking too much. That's why I asked if you was uh, been sipping all day or something, man. I'm good. No, no. All day. I work every day, bro. Oh, I didn't say you didn't work, my brother. You got me drinking on a job or something? I, I didn't say you was drinking on the job, bro. You guilty? Mm-mm. Got a guilty conscience? Mm-mm. All right, man. It's a little late. Is it? It, it is. It's midnight, my guy. All right. Um, what you got in one, closing? You got one more topic? One more topic. Um... Uh, Okay, about to get weird. So we got to get the itineraries back. Itineraries was was fire. I know, man. I, well, we don't have our itinerary. The show's kind of trash. No, our shows be good all the time. Nah, man. nah, nah. I'm gonna be. I, I'm gonna keep gonna it lie. buck. Without the itinerary, the show be kind of trash. First off, I've never done a trash show. Jeez. Secondly, um, like I the reason why I have been on the, the reason why I haven't been. On, been doing itineraries is because I've had people like, oh, I got a guest coming up, and my guest been kind of like, I wouldn't, the Blake is not the word, but like, I, because I know I missed some time, some dates, and I haven't been able to get my guest list up. So I need to, um, just, this is what I'm gonna do this week. Get Make, my guest hey, take up. the pod to the next level. Randomly call somebody in your, in your phone. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I, mean, I don't know how to do the, the, the um, the, um, to make you be able to hear him. What you mean, bro? Remember last time I you, you couldn't hear the person that was talking? Call him on Zoom. Why don't you you know what? Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm oh, I'm yeah. I'm not a young single man like you, bro. So you know, I don't have random young ladies to just call down, you know, my contacts list. I'm a faithful black man, member of the faithful black male community. You, however, are not, sir. Why do y'all do that to me, bro? Who's y'all? So multiple people do this to you? I said, why do you all do this to me? You, you all means more than just me. Why do you? I said you. No, you why said do, you all. I said you always. Well, tell the truth. I can't help it. I'm a man of the truth. Oh, I speak truth, the truth, man. sir. Hello. I'm gonna... Call a floozy right quick. What's up? Who you calling? Why I got call floozy, man. You are toxic, man. And you called Miss Flossy Flossy like two or three times. <laughs> no, I did, bro. I called her Miss Flossy. No, I it's it, we record this now, right? She upset with me about it. I don't. She called it, man. Call her back. Let me apologize. Call her back. Nah, man. I said she's definitely asleep right now. Damn, she old. You talk to her, man. See, what I'm saying so everybody can hear. Uh, he doing all this, man. I don't. I asked, stuff, is man. she old? I didn't. T- I didn't say she was. You've taught, you know how old she is, man. No, I don't. I didn't ask her age. And you did. I did. What she said? You stop drinking, man. I ain't drinking today. I'm completely sober. She said 38, man. Motherfucker, I'm 38, bro. What'd you say? I ain't say nothing, bro. Oh. I ain't, man. I, can't, I don't, man. You almost, you, you almost got me. 
What you mean? Turn, call somebody. Man, call nobody. It's 12 o'clock, bro. Like you said, man. Oh, man. Oh, it's 11 o'clock in, in Texas, bro. I'm call somebody, call, man. Let's go. I'm not calling nobody, man. Oh, but. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not set up to call nobody, man. Zoom. You call somebody, bro. I, I told like you. you. Oh, Hannibal. Hey, man. Send a Zoom what? to your sister. <laughs> Go ahead and send the Zoom to your sister, bro. We ain't talked to her in a while, man. Let me get her thoughts on, on Squid Game. No, she probably, bro. She probably would have looked. Hello, <laughs> dude. Hello, dip. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, um, dog, you know, we got to have a pod where we talk about relationships with you and your baby mama. Which one? Um, your daughter's mother. Ooh, nah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, no, nah, man. Ooh, yeah, we I, got to. Who go, who go call him? You, nigga. How am I, psh, man, get out of here. She ain't gonna pick the phone up for you? Huh? She ain't gonna pick the phone up for you? I should pick it. No, nah, I'm not saying, I'm not, we not, we, we not putting it, bruh, no. No, <laughs> if, if, if we do that, I, if, if if we call my BM, who is a wonderful person, who's a great wonderful person, then we gotta be able to call some of your exes too. Huh? Yeah, exactly. I ain't got no exes, bro. I'm a faithful married man. I ain't got no exes. What exes, you talking about? Before, before you, I ain't no before when you married, bro. I ain't no before. You see what I'm saying? Then yeah, then we doing. We you ain't doing married that. though. Who you want to nah. call, bro? You can call who you want to right now. Who you want me to call? No, 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 no. When when the last time you talked to your let's talk about a girlfriend? Um uh I don't know. Yeah, I ain't talked to um them in, I ain't talked to nobody in that in that crew, but we need to get back on, man. Huh? I think she I, I wanna say she's vacationing, to be honest with you. Damn, you know where they be, you know their whereabouts. Yeah, we we Instagram friends. I uh, nah, I bet y'all a little more than that. Well, who you talking about? Which one? Cause you was trying to smash at least three of them. No, bro. I've never tried to. I never tried to smash anybody. Start that, oh, nigga. Stop lying. You know, I was. Right. I was talking. I was talking to. Uh, I one of our future guests today, and I was like, man, people think like, I, okay, I can, I can, I can, I can talk to you about this because you. Are a young man who women find attractive. Okay. Sure. If if somebody else think that you're attractive, and they see you with somebody who's not them, they're gonna uh, uh, they're automatically assume that y'all doing something. So you saying you've been spotted with a young lady by a young lady, and she is automatically assumed you're smashing her? No, I'm saying that that that's just the that's what it is. So, certain conversations or certain just they're like, oh, like like I say, you are perfect because you're a perfect, uh, you're a mirror image of what I'm trying to say. What I'm saying is like when I call Miss Flossie and be like, hey Miss Flossie, and I, you're like, oh, so Miss Flossie is gorgeous, and you are a man. I guess y'all must be going to like, nah, we ain't doing it, bro. It's just like, that's my friend. No, I just be trying to find you love, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you be going to bed in the cold, cold bed at night by your lonesome. I would, if I had... If, if uh, I had thing you snuggling uh, with uh, is a on. pillow. No, I'm saying if I had 10 women in my bed or one, I would... That's not for nobody to know what me and her. What are you talking about? I'm trying to find you love. I'm trying to get you a companion. Saying, You're I'm almost that, 50, my brother. I'm trying to get you married before you're 50. You only got like two years left. I'm saying that. I want you to find that soulmate that you can grow and be happy with. You know what I'm saying? As you go down the golden years that are ahead of you. Yeah, you, you got a good 40 years left of just, you know, bliss. And you don't want to You don't want to spend them 40 years by yourself, bro. Have you seen the guns, man? What are you trying to say about the guns? No, what I'm saying is that um, uh, I'm sorry, I went blank. Right, I didn't go blank, but I anyway, man. Happy uh uh, 
Fetty Wap, um, the jerseys, um, yeah, so the Rockets, man, the New Jerseys. Damn, Kobe Bryant estate nets four hundred million after Coke buys body armor. Ooh. Yeah. Kobe, he was on that. Yeah, that body water, that body armor drink is pretty fire too, bro. No, I don't like it at all. It's coconut water, man. Hater. So no, I don't like so so so, like, so, uh, so 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 you don't like Kobe is what you're saying. No, I don't like coconut water. So that means you don't like Kobe. I don't like coconut water. Oh yeah. Water. All right, now you sing it. So I mean, we gotta get out of here, bro. Yeah, you're right. Um, H Town. H Town. Put your H's up. Is Dame Dash and Jay finally going to uh, squash their beef? No. You don't think so? No. They got to do it for the culture. That's what, they look, what the young people say for the culture. Have you watched you are swagger, man? O'Shea Jackson Jr. is in it. Oh, so so I should watch it because Ice Cube's on it? Yeah, and it's it's based on Kevin Durant's life story. Oh, I ain't watching that bullshit. What? So by you saying Kevin Durant's life story, I was supposed to watch wanna watch that shit? I could see if you told me James Harden life story or Dame Lillard, LeBron James. Uh, 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 Jalen Rose, Chris Webber, Michael Rainbow. Jordan. I feel like you ready for having a short neck issue. Isaiah right Thomas. That's really about. I'm gonna show him his Derek name. Rose. Yeah. Crip soda. Hey, somebody asked me, did you do that to yourself, or did somebody do that to you? I said he definitely dressed up like a female on his own. Dressed so they, up like a. So they asked Hold me, on. why was you in drag? Uh, dressed up like a female. Yeah, I said he did I, that on his own. Somebody said, "Why did Boogie dress up like a female?" Did somebody like meme him like that, or did he truly dress up like a female? I said, "I don't know." I, have, I, I said, I, I, "I said whatever happened, he did that to himself." I didn't have any clothes on, so I dressed up, bro. TMI, I too much information. So you tell him you had on a, a lace front wig and some high heels, and that's it, and a headband. Uh, <laughs> bro, you want to no. talk about it? No. You want you want to tell us something, bro? So this has been a sixteen shot. I'm gonna support you regardless, my brother. No matter what you choose to represent, I'm just trying to figure out why you you know naked, hot with high heels, lace front, and a bandana. A bandana. What was it? Recording stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Why you stop the video, bro? <laughs> I mean, you still recording, man. I'm just, you know, saying, cause I'm from, uh, you know, saying, I'm, you know, we're not gonna record this, this ridiculousness on the video. You the one said you had no, no clothes on, my guy. No, I said, yeah, I had on top on, bro. You said you had no clothes on. That's you just said. You know, we record this, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, no, I had a clothes on. It, it, even if I was, but, your words were, I ain't had no clothes on. That's what you just said, bro. I got a picture with my clothes on. No, 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 no. Because I said, I said I was asked, why were you dressing up like a female? And I said, man, I don't know what he doing. And then you said, and you said, you said, you really just said, how can I dress up like a female when I ain't had no clothes on? That's what you said. Well, now you understand. Now you can remember shit. But like normally, you be like, <laughs> you know, we like, record this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be saying like, man, that's a crazy idea. And you be like, you just said it was stupid. I was like, man, I ain't saying it was stupid, man. Yes, you did. Yeah, they the red part too. Again, they asked me why why you dressing up like a female. I said, man, look, I don't know. He said he was reenacting the the Dr Pepper cream soda ad. That's what he said. <laughs> it's the sweetness. I don't know who else was in the house with him. Maybe that's just some weird, some weird role play that you and your boo thing do. So you know, 
I don't know. But this has been another sober episode of 16 Shots Podcast with Young James Boogie and AR Dub. I'm definitely going to be on the Terramana next pod. And we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to have the itinerary. We're really going to talk about these aliens, bro. Yeah.